and and we're live and we're live for episode 22 of slap happy that's all right we're here i'm here in a place to be and uh i'm filming i'm filming my potty because uh you know what else am i gonna do right Oh, just got to get this mic sitting right and yep, that's good. Okay, so um, I am not as sniffly this week, which is a positive, a um, lot less sniffly, a little bit sniffly, but a lot less sniffly and um, you know, that's always a win in my book. So for starters, we're winning. Okay, cool. That's set in the scene and now we can move on. Um, so I just wanted to touch on... This week, my um, a little bit of a monthly review. It's not going to be too detailed, but I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, more the more the headspace and um, kind of the 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 emotional roller coaster that was March, the 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 kind of um, you know, the journey that I went on and some of the things that I uncovered along the way. So, you know, I, just to set the scene, I'm coming off, you know, two months of you know I, I did my my second best ever month in January followed by my and then and then kind of beat that in February so I'm coming off actually in, in December was my second best month then then I beat it in January then I beat it again in February so I'm coming off like a fairly decent streak right um and you know things were absolutely wild in in February as I've kind of touched on a couple of times but we get into March and all of a sudden, you know, things start to change a little bit. Um, sentiment changes in, 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 in the volume and, the, and, and, you know, the order book changes, really. Um, and I did, not, I did not adapt. And so for the first, like, two, three weeks of, um, of the month, I was kind of chopping around and getting baggy and, and hoping in, in a similar way to what I was in um, February, January, whatever. And the thing is, um, the, the way that it was kind of working was, and the reason it was not kind of working, should I say, is because in, in those earlier months when things were hot, when, the, when, you know, when there was plenty of volatility and stuff, when there was plenty of um, kind of action in, in the match phase and just after that, I could take a trade, make a mistake, make a, make a $1,000 mistake, and then instantly jump into something else like a web or a zip, make all that money back and more. Um, you know, so I could, I could, you know, in group one or two, I could make a, a big mistake, um, trade, trade poorly, but then kind of have something bail me out in group four or five. And then all of a sudden my day looks okay. Um, those opportunities weren't there at the beginning of March. So, um, you know, I would, make the mis- same mistake, I would kind of like, you know, jump at something that wasn't kind of there and then I wasn't getting bailed out. There wasn't that, that other opportunity, that second opportunity to, to, to scalp something. So, um, you know, inevitably for, through the first three weeks of the month, I kind of ch- just chopped myself up. Um, I wasn't getting bailed out. I wasn't finding the right opportunities. The stuff that I was going in was kind of, you know, when it would go for me, I would kind of go for the Hail Mary rather than, um, you know, just scalp it out, uh, you know, instead of going for the home, um, instead of going for the base hit, I was going for the home run. Um, and that presented a bit of a problem because that style of trading, um, where I was kind of hoping to, um, you know, get the, get the highest tick possible was not kind of working things were reversing a lot quicker there was there was a lot less clean moves and um you know just my my kind of typical strategy my tape based strategy was kind of just not just wasn't having the same efficacy so um it resulted in me on the um i think at one point on the 19th of march so three weeks into the month i think i was uh minus 13 or 14 in the account and the lowest I'd, uh, uh, the, the, the lowest in drawdown that, I, that I'd ever been. And it rattled me a little bit because I had not been in that situation before. I had not had my back to the wall 
like that before. Uh, in the two and a half years I've been trading, I've only had one red month. And that was only a $500 drawdown in like October last year. Every other month that I've traded, I've been green. So, you know, that's great. And they're, they're great stats. And obviously, that's kind of the dream is to just call it kind of always been gr be green. But um, it, it went, when, when I was hit with this adversity, I wasn't mentally ready for it. You know, I just kind of had, had it fairly good for the last 12 ish months and you know when once I got hit with that adversity I kind of I just I just froze up I didn't I didn't adjust I didn't acclimatize um I just thought you know business as usual and kept butting my head against the wall uh not realizing that I was bleeding and my 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 skull was cracked and my brain brain was falling out so um yeah shout out shout out BRN boy uh yeah so that was, uh, it was troubling, but I kind of realized that in, you know, towards the end of the third week, like I, I need to do something. I, 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 sorry, I made the adjustment. I started making the adjustments in the second week once I was kind of going further and further into drawdown. I, I, I started going back to report carding and started honing back in on my processes. And then in week three, I started refining and, and, and really digging back in and trying to, you know, review stuff and try and figure out what I'm doing wrong. And then, um, you know, all the way through week three, I was doing that, spending a lot of time thinking and, you know, da, da, da. And then I'm um, talking to a lot of experienced traders and, and, and talking to people who I trust um, and, and kind of trying to reshape how I'm approaching things. I just spent a lot of time um, galvanizing myself, really. And it resulted in, um, you know, the fourth week of March, um, with the uh, which I spoke about last week with the FMPs and the ARTs and the LEXs and stuff like that, with with those names really popping off and me finding a way to change gears. So you know, three weeks of absolute you know garbage, one week of absolute fucking you know beauty, um, and you know all of a sudden my month is back on track again and actually it was all back on track in on that on that monday last week with fnp where uh i think i made about 15k on the day and that got me instantly out of drawdown and it was just one of those moments where i was like what how is this possible i mean it, I, I know how it's possible but it's like um it, it kind of rejuvenated me and just really made me go nah i can't i can't doubt myself ever again because i have like obviously it was a it was a great opportunity, but I took advantage of it. I made the most of it, and I made the most of that week and got myself in a decent position for the month um, off the back of that by by really taking advantage of the situation that had been presented to me. And I don't think I would have been able to um, really capitalize as well if I wasn't going back to the report carding and the processes and really trying to hone in on. Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not okay with this failure. I'm not okay with uh, this drawdown. I'm not okay with these mistakes. Like it, it was, it, it it required me to like really, you know, steal myself and 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 you know it, uh, go through an experience that I had not experienced before. And like I came out the other side of it, um, really quite uh, proud of myself. To be honest, like um, I yeah, I turned it around, and 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 I'm and I'm proud of myself for the way that I was able to do that, and the way that I was able to uh, approach kind of the 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 end of the month and get myself out of that hole. So yeah, it ended up being like a record day on the Monday there, and then a record week overall. Um, this week, however, uh, it was a little bit of a you know, a little bit of silly buggers on the Monday. I kind of got a bit silly, took this uh, bet trade that was just not on, um, uh, which is, it was super strange because I, I went through the my report card and I, you know, I, I felt like I was on top of things, but I just, um, I just wasn't. And it, and it, it was kind of one of those moments where I'm like, oh, what are you doing, Matt? But it kind of highlighted to me this, this thing that kind of keeps popping up, this like, little i like to call it like a little impulsive 
kind of demon inside of me. It just pops up out of nowhere and, 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 and kind of shades my, uh, shades my rational, logical thinking only for like a s- split second. And then I'm in a trade and I'm like, what? How did I get here? Um, and that's what happened in bet so on Monday. So that wasn't fun, but it's something that I am becoming more cognizant of. And I think that the more processes I put in place and the more I um, pay attention to it and, and become aware of it, the more I'm going to be able to, or the closer I'm going to be able to get to, to kind of um, overcoming it. So yeah, it's still a, it's still a um, long way from done. I know that I'm still going to have those issues, at least for the foreseeable future, but I really am um, sure that I, I want to over overcome them. So, um, yeah, ended up being a decent month, a, a plus 13 at the end of it. Um, and like, man, I'm, I'm happy as Larry with that. Like, you know, considering I was minus 13 at one point, just to be green, I would have been happy with flat. I would have been happy with down a couple K. Like I would have been happy with really anything but minus 13. So um, to be plus 13 is uh, an absolute blessing. Um, it's really rejuvenated me, really galvanized me to be um just to be a lot more um just confident and resilient and just believe in myself that you know i am here for a long time i want to have a good time along the way but i'm here for a long time this is a career um and this is you know something that i i I believe that i can do probably for the rest of my life at least in some degree so um yeah, it was a fun month. I learned a lot, a lot. And if you look at, it's so funny. Like I posted my, um, you know, my my P and L, and you look at the weeks. They're in a, a spreadsheet, uh, like a, a table, and it's like week one minus five, week two minus five and a half, week three minus two and a half, week four plus thirty three, week five. Oh, like there was three days of the uh, of the last week. Week five, I was minus five again. Um, so it's just a real, like, I don't, I've had it. I haven't had a month like this before. This has been just wild. Um, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of, a lot of silly buggers. Um, but you know, uh, I had fun. I learned some stuff and, you know, I'm looking forward to taking these lessons into the coming months and really, um, trying to push myself to, to be more disciplined, um, be more strategic, be more aware and just be a professional trader, the one that I know I can be. Um, yeah, so if anyone has any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to hit me below or DM me, whatever you like. Uh, but yeah, that was just a little bit of a psychological kind of uh, wrap up of my March and the emotional roller coaster that was the trading month of March. And um, yeah, I just want to give a quick shout out before I bail to uh, my little Brody Ruku. Um, he put out his new song outsider yesterday. I'm going to link it below. It's fat. The hook is really, really vibey. It's got a sick mood to it. So, um, yeah, please go have a look at that down below and also shout out to my mama. Uh, this is her shirt that, um, she designed. Luke designed it. Yeah. Yeah. It was her idea. It says radical love. So if you want a radical love shirt, my mom, my mom's, my mom's making these radical love shirts because you know my mom loves love, you know, is what it is. So if you want a radical love shirt, um, I don't know if she's selling them, but whatever, DM me and I'll see what I can do. It, anyway, anywho, uh, at any rate, um, I'm gonna bail, but um, yeah, my family's here for the weekend, so I'm super excited. My little sister, my mom, dad, my brother's coming down tomorrow. Um, yeah, Beck's here, so whole family's here and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to spending some time with them. Anyway, I'm going to go have a great long Easter weekend and uh, yeah, I'll see you next week on Slap Happy. Peace.